Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something a bit new. Yeah, that's right. I think it's time we start being more consistent. I know I keep saying it, but this time we have time. Well, not really, but we're going to make time because I feel like it's important for me to do this. So I think it's time we move on with a lot of things in our life. And the only way we can do that is by understanding what we're moving on from. I have like, I have like, quite a good amount of scenarios where I'm thinking I wish I got over that sooner because I look at it today and I realise why was I even upset about that? What what am I even saying? Why was I like this? But I think that's all part of building who you are today. I feel that's important for becoming who you are. And now it's time to really understand what that was. So let me give you an example of mine. So when I was in secondary school I always worried I think about how my hair looked like my hair is a big part of my personality I think and I look back and I think what the hell was that <laughs> what else what what is that why is my hair like that that is horrendous disgusting I look even today it's like it's not really a good hair day I'm gonna be honest but it's like okay so what it's just fucking hair who, who actually cares who cares okay it's just hair one day it's gonna be there one day it's not gonna be there you're not yeah, there's no point overthinking it. There's just no point. Yeah, so that's my hair. And another thing for me was my smile. Um, I'm still working on my smile, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I think, you know what? I have a great smile. Like, when I smile, most other people smile, and that's what matters, you know? Like, it's, it's just nice to smile. I, I know you get the wrinkled lines when you're older, but it's like, yeah, but that's me. That's me showing how happy I have been. And what, who would want to see that, you know? Like, the happiness you've had. It's, it's great. I just think that life is way too short to be caring about these things anymore. When I was younger, when I was going through like my teenage, I'm still a teenager, I'm 17. I speak like I'm bloody to clarity, but honestly, it's just me becoming who I am. And I feel like when I was younger, I, I didn't really understand what life was or like what I looked like or anything. It feels a bit of dysmorphia. I was just still understanding like, who am I? Who am I going to become? And I've become this person today and tomorrow I might be a new person, okay? But that's all about being spontaneous and living your life to the fullest in the moment and in the time. It's just, you know what? Let's not. Let's just keep things calm and realise life is too short, especially when you're so young. Like, I'm so, I'm 17. I have a whole life ahead of me. I have no idea what's going to happen. I could be hit by a car tomorrow. It could change my whole life. Then, then you know, I have new steps to take from then. Well, <laughs> you know. That's assuming I can walk after being hit by a car. But yeah, it's just all these like small things. I understand that they can add up and really create this new person. You're not, you're not even that person, but it's still, it, it's still you. It's like I became such a negative person from like projecting my own insecurities and other people, and that was not fair. That was really, really not fair. And I still see some people do it today. And I think one day I hope you wake up and realize that that is not you, babe. That is not you. And you're gonna wake up and realize. I'm a bad person, but don't, don't think about it like this. Think about, it says that, oh, I was immature. I'm, I'm still growing. I'm still developing into a, into a person I want to be. So am I, I'm still not fully there. I'm not saying, oh yeah, I have reached Nirvana. I, I'm not like fully there. I'm still developing as everyone, it, no matter what age you are, that's the whole point of life. It's that you're always going to change. Like, this is why things are permanent. Things are always changing. And I think that's just amazing because you can become a whole new person every day and like have a new like spirit every day. and. Oh, so much opportunity right there. It's up to you to take it, okay? No one else. So, therefore, it's important to just realise that, yeah, you are still changing into a different person, and that's okay, you know? It's about accepting that current self and being ready to, like, you know, be a new person when the future days comes, you know? Because right now, I'm I'm 17, right? I'm not an adult yet. I'm soon to become one, yeah. That's going to change a lot for me. Th there we go. A new person, a new book, a new chapter has opened. And I feel like it's all about embracing that. Not like worrying about the past too much. I know it's always going to affect you. I'm, I'm not going to say, don't think about it. Because I am a massive overthinker myself. I am a hypocrite for saying this. But I am a massive um, overthinker. I overthink about lots of things. I don't know why. I just do. And it's still me working on myself to like, not stop it, but reduce it. And overcome, you know, overcome that. I feel like if me, if I, Leo, can like, I overthink so much. And if I, if I, if I can, if I can like try to stop it, you guys can too. Because you know what? Who's going to stop you from overthinking? Only you, yourself. That's the only person that's going to stop you, okay? No one else is going to stop you, only you. I recommend maybe try meditating. I did it once and it did not work, it did not work for me, but maybe it worked for you, I don't know. I tried meditating once and I sat there for like 20 minutes 
silence. So that, no, I think I'd like this meditational music on from YouTube. I was listening to it for 20 minutes and I kept getting itches on my arms and everything just kept getting like in my way. I felt really uncomfortable, but maybe it worked for you. Maybe try it out and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, it really is about moving on. Okay, don't just forget your past because you're going to have all these memories you want to keep hold of. Like sometimes I have these experiences. I'm like, I really hope I remember every second of this for my future life, but I don't. I remember small, small things. That's how our brain works. Okay. And you know what? As long as the memories are good, they're the worth, they're the ones worth keeping. Otherwise, if you have all these bad ones, mm -mm, you're gonna go straight back into that person you did not want to be. In. And that, no, we do not accept that here. No, 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 no. You know what? And you also maybe thinking, Leo, it's so easy for you to say. I understand how easy it's for someone to say something, but then actually putting it in action, that's a whole new, that's the biggest, that's the biggest achievement you can have. It's actually putting that, what the words are saying, into action. I think it's really important to do so. But like I said, it's really down to you. At the end of the day, you came into this world alone and you leave it alone. So it's up to you. And I feel like I'm still learning this, by the way. I am still learning this. I'm not saying that I've done, I'm not saying whatsoever that I have like, you know, reached, I'm, I'm the top, I'm in my peak. No way, no bloody way. I'm still learning, you guys, are still, we're all still learning together. As long as we stay together learning, we're fine, we're not alone. But we are, at the, it is our own journey, so we are going to be alone in that sense. I feel like for me, a current situation for me is that I'm entering a big chapter of my life. Like, I'm in the, my second year of college, this is like the finals, this is like the end of my whole education sort of stance, like that forceful education, um, that I'm going to be in. And it's up to me where I want to go next. Obviously, I've got my own plans. But my friends, they have their plans, and it's going to be sad, obviously, when we, like, depart from each other. But that is another thing, that's another step of life, and, you know what, just got to accept it. I know it's really sad, I know, I'm pre I don't look sad, I pre but I will be, I will be, like, another thing about overthinking, don't overthink the future. Um, I know, obviously, there's some, like, situations where it's, like, inevitable, you're going to overthink it. But if it's, like, small stuff, it's, like, for me... Um, an example I'd say is college, okay? You mean like planning outfits? <laughs> I know that sounds really like silly, okay, I know, but it is something that I do think about, but lately I've just been like, you know what, I don't give up, I don't, I don't, no, I don't care. I'm gonna wear what I want as long as I'm comfortable, especially now it's cold, it is so cold. I am freezing, I am freezing every organ off, it is not... It's not cute, okay? But you know what? We're gonna try and stay cute because this is what matters. I have some self-respect and I have earned this self-respect and I will keep it. It is a reputation that I have to myself. No one, I don't care about others, but, but myself. I care about myself and that is what matters and I want you guys to care about yourself too because it's one of the most important things in life, okay? Don't lose your self-respect. Dress nice, okay? That's what I'm saying. Dress nice. That's, yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, if you, like... If you want to talk about this stuff, just like comment down below, hit my socials. I'll be so happy to like speak to you guys, of course. Like, I love giving advice. It's like, ah, it's like therapeutic for me as well. Like, we both profit from it. I profit and you profit. It's, it's great. It's obviously a great thing. Now, whether the advice is good, that's up to you to interpret it. Yeah, guys, just move on. Move on. Okay, it's time to enter a new chapter of your life. Th new things are coming up. Go to that dance. Buy that outfit. Buy us a Starbucks coffee because it makes you happy and it gives you some gratification of life. Do it. Bloody do it, okay? If it's going to make you happy, do it. Just do it. Just be sensible because money management is a skill we all need to have because we were not taught it in school. But we will learn it ourselves because, you know, it's our journey. It's our, whose journey is it? Ours, okay? Not theirs, ours. Yeah, anyways, my friends, my people, I'm going to have to cut it here because I do have to study. You know, my chapter of my life is studying right now and... Oh, it is painful and jarring and so tedious. But here we are, okay? All right, guys, you know what to do, okay? Bye.